great term. Michael Grady with the Yes Network. Hey, Mike, um, you guys electrified everybody in the building and you're currently electrifying the Internet with that with that highlight play late first half. Could you just take it, take us through it from your perspective and how special it was to be a part of? Uh, I think they threw like a, a bad pass or something. I kind of tipped it. Blake did something weird, threw it over behind the back and Kyrie threw it to me. I kind of seen Kev trailing. And my instinct was to throw it off the glass, but I was a little bit nervous because I think if, if it would have been bad, I think my Nets career as a player might have been over. But it worked out for me. And, uh, you know, Kev caught it. You know, it worked. Kevin was talking earlier about the the uh, the relationship that you guys had. Um, how has that relationship off the court translated to chemistry when you guys have played together on the court? Uh, it's good. I mean, uh, on the road, we we play a lot of uh, we play the game a lot. You know, just because you know you go in the cities and you kind of don't want to, you can't move around how you want to, so you kind of just play the game, hang out, and so uh, just that uh, you know relationships show on the court. So, you know, the more you hang out with your teammates, the more it, it shows on the court. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad he caught it because, like I said, my Nets career could have been really short. So I appreciate that. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Mike, did you uh, did you signal to him at all that you were going to throw it off the glass or did, did he just know it was going that way? Uh, no, I didn't. I just took a quick look and seen him running and just hoped he didn't stop, really. It was not like anything uh, super planned. It was kind of just a feeling. And yeah, it worked, thankfully. Steve Lichtenstein, WFAN. Hey, Mike, uh, Kyrie Irving finished with a 50, 40, 90. You know, at his size, that's really hard to do. What are you, what are you seeing from Kyrie Irving on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, special, just... Uh, his skill level is probably one of the best ever. And just what he's able to do on a basketball court is probably unmatched in history. So, I mean, uh, I think people are lucky he's, his, his height, if he was any taller, it would probably be really even more scary. So, uh, you know, he's special and uh, it's just uh, nice to watch him every day. Malik Andrews, ESPN. What has it been like for you, Mike, to kind of come in at this point in the season, now looking towards the playoffs, to kind of try to picture your role, what it's going to be moving forward? Or are you kind of like, well, I'm glad I Kevin caught that pass. The regular season is what it is, and I'll get in where I fit in from now. Uh, I'm curious to see what happens. I mean, obviously, the playoffs is different. So... Uh...